Taurus, happy holidays and welcome to universe. And yes, I talk slow, I shuffle slow, but I do hope you tap your energy with mine. Like, share, subscribe, or represent your tribe in the comment section down below. Always remember, time is fluid. This could be the past, the present, or the future, or even on the time when you need to hear these messages the most. Energies are interchangeable. Feel free to flip the script. The signs that do pop out could be the signs of the person you are connecting with or could just be the energies around you, family, friends, or workmates. This is a general reading and will not resonate with every Taurus out there, so take what fits and don't insist what doesn't. Kindly do check your moon, your rising, or your Venus placements. Maybe you will resonate there better. Let's begin. Messages for Taurus, please, angel spirits and guides. Messages for Taurus, please, angel spirits and guides. Messages for Taurus, please, angel spirits and guides. Angel spirits and guides, messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus, angel spirits and guides. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Thank you so much, um, Taurus, for all the love and support you have given to me um, for 2020. And I do hope that you still continue to support me um, to 2021. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe so that, you know, um, this video will be able to circulate around the world and more Taurus can view this. And I am sending all my light and love to all of you. Um, I hope that you enjoy your holidays and let's go. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Someone hurt you big time here, Taurus, and the bottom of the deck is very soon. Clearly decide on what you want so that it comes to you now. What I am getting here is like you are waiting for a reconciliation to happen and reconciliation does not equal to reconnection right but you know I just feel here that you are really really waiting for the day that someone actually apologizes um, about a um, a thing that he or, or she has done to you and you know um, if you are looking forward to that and if you are manifesting for that I think that you should already you know um, <laughs> I don't want to say this but it's like practice what you have to say and I think it's not it's not um, telling you to basically script what you have to say, but what I am telling you is that, you know, you should prepare for the talk, for the um, apologizing because, you know, um, it will haunt you for life if there are things that you really want to say to that person, but you were not able to say it to their face, you know, and not... And I am saying this because um, I am a Taurus moon and, you know, I, I, I have gone um, about, I have gone to like um, a phase like this that I was not able to release what I had to say because I came unprepared for something. That's just what I am trying to say. Okay. Messages for Taurus, Angel Spirits and Guides. Messages for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits and Guides. Angel Spirits. 
person, guys. Please help me see clearly what messages do we have for Taurus. Oh no, I actually forgot to draw the advice for Sagittarius. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's why we are given free will. So that, you know, we make our own destiny. Messages for Taurus. Oh. The High Priestess in Reverse, Pisces Energy, and the Fool in Upright Position, which is um, Aquarius. This card talks about secrets, and this card talks about new beginnings, that leap of faith. And what I am getting here is that I know that you have been keeping all these emotions, these thoughts, whatever you want to say out there. Um, whatever you want to say to this person, to this person, um, you have been keeping it all to yourself. Like, you have not released it. And I feel like now, is basically just if this comes because it's very soon so it has not happened yet but if this reconciliation comes the universe is telling you to let it all go release what you have to say and that's why I told you that you should you know um, practice or rehearse what you have to say so that you don't miss out on points what you really want to say to this person because you might not be given another chance to talk to this person it might be just a one-time big time reconciliation and I told you reconciliation does not equal to reconnection so maybe this is just basically a closure for you to be able to move forward to be able for you to start a new beginning elsewhere right and the fool suggests to take that big leap of faith I know it's hard for you to release that because you're a Taurus and you know Taurus are known to be stubborn right and i know that too because i told you that taurus is my moon but even if it's hard for you okay if you really want to end this to end your burdens to basically just move forward look at how he is moving forward it's with zest it's like I am alive now in this new phase of my life and if you want that for yourself go ahead and release it all release it all bottom of the deck is page of swords judgment three of swords so you have here Libra Gemini Aquarius um, Scorpio is here you have the page of swords in um, uh, upright position judgment in upright position and the three of swords in upright position this is the card of reconciliation you know it's really evident here that there is a reconciliation coming your way but it is not equivalent to you know reconnecting and i told you that you there is somehow i feel it that there is a little bit of a stubborn energy here but the universe is really telling you to you know let all the heartaches go this is the card of pains sufferings even third-party situations 
and the universe is telling you to let this all go whatever you have to say say it say it because this is the stalking card right don't just lurk beneath the waters you know and this one is yeah basically don't just lurk beneath the waters because look at this it's like something has re resurrected right it's like coming out of the water so you know come out of the water don't just lurk or hide your emotions there in the depths you have to let it all go you have to emerge out of the waters and release all the pains all the heartaches third-party situations that you are having or you did have in the past okay I will not forget to draw your advice <laughs> advice for um Taurus oh, 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 oh. look at this the Empress Taurus energy Libra energy which tells me that your advice is to stay on your lane stay the Empress is like have you seen like movies with empress they are basically um like very radiant very beautiful very charming kind compassionate not ill spoken people like they are very nurturing you know sweet i think i've already said a lot of good um good descriptions but yes that is what the universe wants you to do and basically the empress is also very is also a very forgiving person right she is a very forgiving person so if you find a little spot in your heart to be kind to be compassionate and to be forgiving do it and as I told you emerge out of the waters don't just lurk beneath it because look can you see these waters i know this um this is water because there are water lilies here and the empress just emerged out of the water it's like she is not lurking beneath it so if you really want this you know new face in your life do it be the empress very nice very nice okay let's draw here uh, messages for taurus angels spirits and guides messages for taurus messages for taurus Messages for Taurus, angels, spirits, and guides. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus, angels, spirits, and guides. Messages for Taurus. Look. Do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you i told you i told you i feel like um green has really a you know significance in your life like maybe green is your favorite color or you love the outdoors like you love the nature like green the mountains trees i don't know what else either or Oh my gosh, there's this trend in our country. Um, it's called the plant tita, or in English, it's like plant aunt. Because since the pandemic, um, a lot of people are really into plants. <laughs> and I don't know what I, why I'm getting this, but you can be that too. Like maybe you are um, taking care of a lot of plants or you are collecting plants um at this moment but yeah basically 
Look at this, look at this. Can you read this? It says, do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. And basically, that is the Empress energy, right? It's still like the being the Empress. Like, being an Empress is, you know, being wise. You know which which things are bad for you, which things does not serve you. That is what I am feeling. But you are being told not to drink the poison. And even though, you know, it's really painful, because look at her, she's literally crying. Why can't this focus? But yes. I don't know if you can see it but she is literally crying she's in tears so no matter how painful um, your experience was with this person the universe is telling you oh no what did I do okay the universe is telling you to you know don't drink the poison don't do the things um, which you feel is bad for you or does not serve you and I told you save exact message of this empress emerge out of the water right I told you a thousand times emerge out of the water you know don't go lurking here emerge out of it say what you have to say express what you have to to express even though it will make you cry go for it to express what you have to say and I'm also getting that you have to be careful with someone look at his cat he looks like he's about to trick someone oh my gosh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. he looks like he's very mischievous in some way and I am getting that sense that you have to be careful with someone you someone in your energy space and this of not this does not necessarily mean um your lover it could mean you know family friends because i'm getting that weird sense of someone's gonna treat you that i don't know what's what um gonna treat you or for oh okay so they just told me that my angels told me that these are your emotions like these are your emotions it's like the devil energy you know um the devil card in tarot it feels like that it's like obsession anger guilt jealousy this is that cat and you know just don't dwell on that don't dwell on that because very soon clearly decide on what you want because um so that it comes to you now look at this there's this clock here this clock very soon very soon and oh my gosh um what's um beneath this is pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you i told you beware of this path here this might be a person that you have in your life i mean not just romantically but like in your energy space like workmates friends family beware of the red flags this cat really looks weird and mischievous but that's just basically it and I hope this resonates or this gave you clarity on your situation. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Take care because I care. Light and love.